Hey guys, this is the Logitech's new MX Master mouse. It's wireless, although you can plug it in with a micro USB cable, which is used for charging, but you can also just keep it like that if you don't want to, you know, unplug it. And it just it fits in a hand really, really well. Now this is my Corsair's M95 gaming mouse. It has quite a few buttons on the side and it's not wireless, it has a wire, but that's good because I don't really like it when mouses are, are wireless uh, because if it runs out of battery while I'm playing the game, I just freak out. Uh, but the reason that I that I have it here, that I decided to include it in the review is not because I want to point fingers and, you know, just say my mouse is better at this and it's better than that, uh, but it's quite the opposite. I don't really like uh, the way this MX Master is presented as a, the best gaming mouse ever. Well, not the gaming, but just the mouse, the best mouse ever. Uh, I, I think that's very objective and uh, with mouses especially, because it depends on how and where you use the mouse, if you're a gamer or not. And I, I want to tell you guys and show you that different doesn't you know, necessarily mean better or worse for that matter. Uh, but yeah, first I want to show you just how this, this MX Master works. So check out the review. Gadget compare. One of the best features of this mouse is it's how the Logitech named it speed adapting scroll wheel. Its step can be locked as we are all used to on a scroll wheel, but when you press the button here it, it unlocks the step of the scroll wheel and it just spins freely until you stop it yourself. Personally I don't find this very useful, but it's a great feature, it's pretty cool and I'm sure a lot of people will find this really useful. It's it's just a good job. Also when the step is locked and you spin the wheel fast enough, it will actually unlock automatically. There's also a setting within the driver to set the amount of force needed to unlock it. That's a whole new level of awesome. On the side here is another kind of more precise scrolling wheel, which I also didn't find myself using a whole lot. And there are two buttons, back and forward. Also, this thumb rest is actually a button and it serves as an alt-tab shortcut, which you should definitely be using on your keyboard if you're not, seriously. But the feature that I like the most is that this mouse is able to be connected to multiple devices at the same time. So let's say for instance, your home PC, your laptop and some third device, I don't know. And you can easily switch between them with just the press of a button. No cords, nothing, just, just this button. And if you're by now wondering how it fits in a hand, it fits great. Your hand really wraps around it. Although if you have a smaller hand, beware, this might not be it for you. It also feels just a tad bit hollow for me and some more weight wouldn't hurt it. Compared to my M95, it has a fewer buttons and less possibilities while gaming in that regard. On the other hand, the MX Master has a lot more utility and mobility, being wireless and all. So while it's great for gaming, it's also great for office work and it has some advantages over, you know, normal mouses, which cannot be said for my M95. So to wrap this up, uh, I'm, I'm gonna continue what I uh, began earlier. Uh, and that was, I think there is like no definite line uh, which kind of defines which mouse could or should be better, not just between those two, but between any two mouses. Uh, I, I think that's really an objective thing, and it depends on how you use the mouse, where you use it, do you game a lot, do you do office work a lot, and honestly, my best and most sincere advice would be, well, first of all, yes, it pays off to get uh, a more expensive mouse like this, but Go to the store, uh, you know, ask them to open it up for you and just try it, like how it feels in your hand. If it fits, if it feels really good, uh, then, you know, you should probably get the mouse. If not, then I doubt you will, you know, get used to it later. You might just will. But thank you for watching. If you have any questions, ask away in the comments if you maybe want me to cover my mouse, my Corsair's M95 gaming mouse. Uh, I'd be, you know, I'd be glad to do that if, if you guys wanted to just say in the comments. Uh, yeah, but thanks for watching, like this video, uh, subscribe if you haven't, find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, there's always something new happening and I'll see you soon guys.